We have more tremendous activity in Hawaii. The Big Island is rattling with a 4.5 magnitude earthquake. It hit Hawaii, the Big Island. It's in the area north of Hilo. 42 kilometers depth. Hawaii is the Big Island is rattling today. And of course it was felt the Kilauea 3.7 was felt by the whole island. Of course, this is also felt. This is the area around Hilo and uh, Mauna Loa. We also had a, a quake in Mauna Loa. And this is, of course, tremendous activity happening lately. And we'll show it so that you can see it for yourself. Something very strange is happening in Hawaii. We saw deformations, we have been told of deformations and rising of Mauna Loa. Its uh, code is yellow as of August 8th. We have the 3.7 magnitude in Kilauea and a few hours later the 4.5 of Hilo. So here we are. This is the area of the earthquake 4.5 that we see, and this is as we saw at a what was the uh, the uh, I forgot the depth 42 kilometers depth, and we're going to see what that means in a little while. How how deep that is? That's not good, as you can see. Mauna Kea. Uh, we had the. These are the other ones, the 2.6 that we've had after the 3.7 that we had in Kilauea, 3.2 in Mauna Kea. This is it right here. Mauna Loa is uh, just north of Kilauea. And these are the 3.2 that we had. And it look, that looks like the same size, but it's not. It's actually the 3.7 earthquake. So that's a pretty big earthquake concerning what's going on in Kilauea. And that's the crater right there. And just north is Mauna Loa. We know that they share the same magma chamber, Mauna Loa, Kilauea, and the Loihi Seamount right there. And uh, when we have activity in Kilauea, we usually don't have it in Loihi and Mauna Loa, because that's where the pressure is released. When we have activity in Loihi or Mauna Loa, we don't have in Kilauea, because the pressure is released relatively in the other areas. They have the same magma chamber. Now this one here is pretty big, 4.5. And uh, where was it felt? Uh, well, we see that it's felt in Hilo, which is densely populated. Basically, from what we see, it's been felt in all the islands of Hawaii, not just the big island. They felt it in all the islands of Hawaii, as you can see here. Amazing. This is something very strange is going on. Okay, we're going to get into the details of this. What does it mean when it's so deep and it's such a big earthquake? Uh, I expect USGS should come out and give a statement on this, what this means. It's not just a deformation. We have the rising in Mauna Loa and Kilauea because their chambers are filling with magma. We also have had the latest report of the crater in Kilauea. That's it right there. The Halimaumau crater filling with water. They have never had that before in all the records of Kilauea, even though the locals have various songs and legends and myths, and their songs and legends talk about water once being in the Halimamau crater before a very explosive eruption took place. This was, of course, hundreds of years ago before uh, the uh, Hawaii Volcano Observatory and the records record keeping uh, was set up. This is of course Mauna Loa as we can see 
it's deforming, it's been code yellow since August 8th. And uh, let's go see at what this area really means. So here we are, 4.5, and here we see the uh, Wikipedia on Mauna Loa, where exactly this earthquake took place. As you can see, Mauna Loa, Mauna Kea, uh, Kilauea, and that is the area of the earthquake of 4.5, 42 kilometers depth. We're going to see what that means. That's right there in Hilo Bay, as you can see, the 4.5 that came after the 3.7 Kilauea and the 3.2 in uh, Mauna Kea. Uh, and uh, basically all this is connected. Uh, Mauna Loa, Kilauea have the same magma chamber. That's it right there. That's the area of the earthquake right there. Amazing. And of course it was felt throughout all of the Hawaiian Islands. We know that USGS has told us that Mauna Loa is inflating. Its magma chamber is filling. The same thing with Kilauea. And it has been changed to code yellow on August 8th, just a few days ago. Now here we have the numbers. Uh, they say that the smaller the numbers are, are the uh, more dangerous they are for eruption. And we see that basically Lower East Verson, Kilo and uh, Mauna Kea, Mauna uh, Loa, sorry, and of course Kilauea, right in the area towards the 4.5 earthquake. Of course, we know Mauna Loa and Kilauea have the same magma chamber, so basically uh, they have the same pressure going on there. Now we had 3.2 earlier today in Mauna Kea, 3.7 Kilauea, and now the 4.5 at Hilo Bay. Uh, now I expect that the USGS will come out and explain to us what is going on because that is a major earthquake and very deep. Now what does that mean when it's 42 kilometers deep? Okay, so here we have a cross section of Kilauea. This is a diagram by USGS. We see that it's in depth of, for example, 15 miles. We see that on the left. 15 miles. 15 miles. Now we have our 4.5 earthquake in Hilo Bay of 42 kilometers, which is converted to 26.097 miles. So in effect, it's 11 miles lower than the, this area of the mantle, which is black here. So it's in the, uh, not the upper mantle, perhaps it's even in the lower mantle. I have no idea, but it's really uh, quite low. What does that mean? It's uh, way down low in the chamber, in the magma chamber, the magma reservoir. We'll have to wait to see what USGS comes to inform us concerning this. The um, various other indications I have, the summit magma reservoir of uh, Kilauea is uh, way below, of course, the ocean level. Uh, I don't have, I can't find any, I can't easily find any diagrams concerning that, but this is basically the only one I could find as a cross section. And this is the latest on Hawaii Volcano Observatory, having to do with a 4.5 magnitude earthquake offshore island of Hawaii, meaning offshore, okay, it's just off Hilo Bay. This is a USGS Hawaii Volcano Observatory news release for this. Today's uh, earthquake, the U.S. Geological Survey Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, HVO, recorded a magnitude 4.5 earthquake just offshore of the island of Hawaii Monday, August 12th, 4.42 a.m. The earthquake was centered about 7 kilometers, 4 miles east of Pa'iku at the depth of 42 kilometers, 26 miles. 
a map showing its location posted at HVR website. Okay. Now moderate moderate shaking with maximum intensity of five has been reported across the islands of Hawaii and Maui. At that intensity, significant damage to buildings or structures is not expected. The USGS Did You Feel It service received over 280 felt reports within an hour and a half of the earthquake. The depth, location, and recorded seismic waves of the earthquake suggest a source due to bending of the oceanic plate from the weight of the Hawaiian island chain, a common source for earthquakes in this area, aftershocks are possible and could be felt. According to HVO Seismic Network Manager Brian Shiro, quote, HVO monitoring networks have not detected any significant changes in activity on Kilauea or Mauna Loa volcanoes due to the, this earthquake, end quote. According to the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center, there is no tsunami threat from this earthquake. So, well, it just came in, so we uh, don't know what's going to be, the, what the effect will be on Mauna Loa or Kilauea. We'll have to see tomorrow or the day after, whatever. So that's what their announcement is concerning this. They don't announce the depth at all here. They don't go into the depth at all. Well, it says 42 kilometers, 26 miles. Uh, but they don't show us any cross-section, and they don't indicate uh, what this has to do with the position of the magma reservoir, or the magma chambers. So I'll leave links below for you for this. They expect aftershocks concerning this earthquake. my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive and we depend on your support your generous charity because we help economically challenged families here in Athens Greece in Kapota and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church thank you